Good. Hi, Nick. I'm Michelle Kaufman for the Miami Herald. Welcome, finally, after Thank you. so long. Um, can you just talk about uh, how training has gone so far for you, what kind of fitness you're in, and, and just your first impressions of, of your new club and your new team? Um, yeah, these days have been great. Like uh, from the first day when I arrived, it was raining though. They so told me it was only sunny, but um, no, it, it was uh, it was very nice to meet everybody. We have a good group. I've noticed um, the weather is a bit different, so I have to get used to that. But um, yeah, the season finished finished in uh, in uh, in Europe. So I trained the preseason with with Feyenoord to keep up my uh, my condition and my fitness. So I think I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, it was nice. The the boys were up the weekend and we had some uh, some dinner together to get to know everybody. So for me, it's it's been great to get to know the the guys in the group, um, to get to know the places. The facilities are great here. So. Yeah, I'm very looking forward to Saturday. Can I ask one follow up? Um, what do you think you bring the team? What will we see? What will the fans see from you that you think you can add and help to this team? Um, I hope clean sheets. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, a bit of experience. I'm 30 now. Um, some stability in the back. Uh, yeah, I like to talk a lot from the back to 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 my defenders, to the midfielders, to get them comfortable, to help them in situations. Uh, yeah, and I'm there to catch the ball. So, yeah, I hope you can see that a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Yeah, I was always curious to find out how it is in an, in another country, like a foreign country, like the culture, the football. Uh, I played all my life in in Holland, um, and yeah, then I just waited which teams to come. And like Miami was really like they watched a lot of me. Uh, I spoke with with the coach, with the technical director, with the goalkeeper coach, and they knew everything about me. Uh, they really wanted to have me. Uh, I had some other options, but like the feeling they gave me uh, to be important for the team, to uh, like the club only exists for for two years, like the first team, and they have a whole plan to grow, a lot of ambition, and yeah, I just felt like I want to be part of this uh, this project and bring the team up. No, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I just, yeah. When I'm here, I just want to play and, and help the team. And uh, we need to get those wins. We need to get up and I'm here. Got a question too. Um, how much have you been following the league? You know, uh, what do you think of the league just from what you've seen <clears throat> on TV and this team? What do you think this team is lacking still and needs? And those two things, impressions of the league and this team. Uh, yeah, I've been following the league for a while with special interests be, uh, when I signed for Miami, of course. Um, they were broadcasting it from, from Holland from this year on, so that helped me to watch uh, a lot of the games. Um, yeah, and football, of uh, soccer here, it's, it's about like details. It's, I think we have a good group, what I've seen, and it's not a big thing we're missing. It's just just the details. It's confidence. It's a bit of luck in the in the end game. Um, and yeah, I think if we can get that on the right path, like everyone together, we have to act like a team, like a group, and that's very important. 
so I think we can get that better, then, then the wins will come. And the league in general, what do you think of MLS as a league compared to other leagues that you follow? Um, yeah, it's, it's different what I've seen. It's uh, physical, a bit faster. Uh, also in Holland and in Europe, we um, it's a lot of like organization and and building up. Um, uh, yeah, it's a lot of more playing and passing and um, yeah. Before you come in the end game, and I see here you have like a lot of physical teams, a lot of second balls, long balls, a lot of shooting on goal, and yeah. It's very nice to experience that. I wanted to ask you about that specifically. I know it's early days, but um, Phil, obviously, your, your number one task in the World Cup is to, to keep the ball out of the net. But with the ball, when you guys have possession, is Phil asking to build out? Is Phil asking to, to go long? What, what has he asked of you so far in these, these early possessions when you guys are in possession or when you're starting um, a sequence from, from the back? And a quick second with just what your impression is on the, on the defenders in front of you. You're, you're, you're the defenders that you've just started to um, no, I'm a goalkeeper who wants to build up from the back to be part of the team to like uh, bring the phases uh, until the end game, uh, be very dominant. And uh, I spoke about it with Phil before I came here, uh, like how you want to play. And he was very uh, fond about starting to play from the back, uh, like each stage until you come to the end stage. And um, yeah, since I've been here, he's also wanted to do that, uh, like be dominant in the games, uh, have ball position, keep the ball. And uh, of course, it takes time to to put that in a team. It always takes yeah at least a year to uh, feel each other, know what you want, uh, a new coach with a new idea. This, the players has to get used to it. Um, and you see that we struggle yeah, a lot from that. Like everybody needs to be on the same page. It, it takes a long time to introduce it, a new style of playing. So yeah, I hope we can get that in soon. And the defenders in front of you, what are your initial impressions of, of, of them, of the group there? Yeah, it's good. What I've seen, the, the quality is, is great. We, <laughs> we just need uh, wins and confidence to to uh, get that little extra to to win the games and then you will see like of course it's more easy when you win and you feel good in the team uh, uh, to play each other you trust each other and it's yeah it's it's mainly about that and uh, you get rid of the doubt and I think at the moment there is some doubt. Good, awesome. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.